Hey, shalom everyone. This is Amir Tsarfati and I'm here with uh, half my Golay. And uh, <laughs> uh, we are um, right now in Oslo or Uslo. Uslo. Yeah. In, in, in uh, Norway. 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 First time that we do ministry speaking tour in this beautiful country. And uh, we began last night with a television interview and a meeting with our book publisher, the Norwegian one. Um, in uh, we will uh, do a conference today, awaiting his return yep. conference. Asker Conference Center, just south of Oslo. Exactly. And uh, tomorrow we're going to fly all the way to Bergen, the second largest city, and uh, we're going to spend uh, there a weekend, uh, speaking Friday night, all day Saturday and Sunday morning, before we continue to yeah Haugesund. Haugesund. Okay, mm -hmm. but but let's pray and then. I wanted to update you because so many of you are praying for us and so many of you are wondering where have we disappeared <laughs> because uh, I wasn't active online as much as I normally do uh, when I'm back home. So, uh, Mike, why don't you pray and then we'll dive into this short but very interesting yeah. ministry update. Yeah, Lord, allow us to consolidate all the key points so that everybody watching this can appreciate, support, and continue to pray for us and the ministry, really your word to go out in these European countries. So we entrust this time that it would be of great value for everyone that watches in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. So um, just so you know, before I continue, uh, I gave a few hours ago, maybe uh, almost 24 hours ago, I gave an update uh, breaking news. Uh, there's a lot of activity in nor on the Lebanese side of northern Israel. Um, uh, the Hezbollah decided to deploy its elite forces along the border, which means that that signals that they're plotting something. And Israel is uh, convening its um, uh, security cabinet. And uh, at the same time, at the same time, Iran is releasing more and more and more statements that they are not going to allow Israel to attack uh, the nuclear sites. And then they said Israel's uh, accusation that we have a brand new underground nuclear site is wrong. No, we are, we are doing everything under the international community, open eye, blah, 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 blah. All of that to say that there's a direct connection between the two. And as and I really hope that you follow me on Telegram because this is where I put my also my assessment. I believe that if Israel wants to go and destroy several of the most important key locations uh, under the ground in the mountains of of uh, in the area of Isfahan, uh, deep in the ground, we are talking about tunnels with tons of of not only rockets and missiles but also enrichment facilities that they're now. Uh, working on so they can enrich more and more without the open eyes of the IA, uh, International Atomic Ag Energy Agency, IAEA. Now watch this. Israel released more than one statement yesterday saying that we're ready for something much bigger than just Gaza. We understand that, if, and you need to understand, there's, there's one thing that the Iranians care more about destroying Israel, is the preservation of their own country and regime. They, they understand that if they pose a threat, existential, ex existential threat in Israel, we will destroy them. And they do not want that. They want to keep their hands clean. So we understand that they're trying to somehow keep, up, keep us busy in confrontations with their proxies so we will not be free to execute our plans with them and so we get more and more indications following the Israeli successful operation in Gaza where we surprised our enemy where we we took the initiative where we set the, the, the pace and the tone and where we use the element of, of surprise following that Israel realized probably that's the only way to win is if we Decide when and how and what to do, not be dragged into something. Now, when you see that the other side is already plotting something, you can either wait for them to do something and then be dragged into a campaign, 
which exactly how the second Lebanon war in 2006 happened, or you can actually, um, you can actually initiate what we call a preemptive strike. And when you do that, within the first, I don't know, few hours, you destroy 80% of their missile capability. And then you have to deal with the other 20% that they will release. And we're talking about thousands of rockets, but I think we can manage with all that we have now. So bottom line, Israel understands that if we want to go and attack the secret new nuclear sites in Isfahan, in Iran, we must first remove the biggest threat from the north that it won't be used um, by Iran to retaliate. So this is it, folks. The tension is skyrocketing in northern Israel. All the units are ready. We're not yet drafting soldiers to reserve soldiers. We're not telling everyone, open your bomb shelters. Look, it's, it, we don't have to do that. It takes, you know, it takes 10 minutes to tell uh, uh, all the residents in Israel to uh, go to the bomb shelters. It's not a big deal. The Israeli military's readiness is, is there. That is, is exactly what I covered yesterday when I talked about the prime minister, the defense minister, and the chief of staff visiting all the, the, the units, making sure everybody is ready. Uh, so this is what we have right now. Okay, so that's it. It's important. And Mike, I don't know if you know that, but there's millions of people on a prayer, uh, global prayer meeting, uh, prayer uh, campaign for Israel. And maybe, maybe, it's for such a time as this because there's something much bigger than the Gaza thing that is on the horizon. So this is the update that I needed to give about what's going on in Israel. And now let's talk more about ministry. Do you have anything to add? Yeah, I would like to add just, <clears throat> just, just a few things. Because we have all of this prayer and because of all of the people coming around Israel at this time, given the inevitable dangers that are growing in the north with Syria, and with Iran with their nuclear program and the alliance that they're making with Russia and China. It's a very alarming situation, even from an American military perspective. Tactically, the Israelis are doing the right thing. They're striking preemptively. And I'm very happy to report to you that the civilization, the people of Israel, which are the lefties, very much don't like these operations. In fact, if they had it that their way, there'd be peace and kumbaya and holding hands. But I'm glad that they're able to perform these operations. Less people die this way than all out battles. So you take the head off and then the enemy squirms and cannot reformulate its next plan. So we do not rejoice when anyone dies. But in this fallen world that we live in, sometimes for good to, to succeed, you have to strike yes. decisively yeah. and quickly. Now, the fun stuff that we like to talk about is the ministry. So Amir was in London in a very successful recording of Has the Tribulation Begun book. We're very happy with the way that turned out. And then you spoke in a Romanian speaking church that operates in London. And that was deemed, yes. in, my, in my view, as a great success to reach many Romanian speakers and uh, uh, listeners. And a lot, of the, a lot of you Romanians know that, that our channel, our Romanian channel on YouTube, has grown since that weekend, mm. and I'm very happy to see Yes, uh, I spoke at Genesis Church, Pastor uh, Florin Antoni, and uh, um, the, the reason why I spoke there is because it was the 75th anniversary of Israel. I, I found it to be an, an important date, uh, and we addressed that over there in that weekend. Uh, so I spoke there uh, on Saturday and Sunday. Mm. And the next, uh, and then a couple of days later, I flew and met you in Belgium, yep. and we had a wonderful time yeah. of fellowship with the saints in Belgium, and we held our second awaiting his return conference in Cortesem. Cortesem in Belgium, it was uh, packed out. Yes, we were very happy with the attendance, and people had traveled not just from Belgium, yeah, from but from Germany, Germany from Holland. Yeah. And we were able to do an all day uh, and Q&A time. It was very surreal to see Belgian teenagers leading yes. us in worship with the same kind of passion I've seen in places like yeah. the United States and other places where yeah. 
uh, people are on fire. This was an on fire. In fact, that's a, a common thing that we see in Belgium and in the Netherlands, and we really hope to see it also here in Norway. Young people, we were very surprised to see. <laughs> yeah, a lot of young Easy. people are showing up. They're probably fed up with everything they see around them. Yeah. They see the deterioration of culture. They see that it doesn't fit even common sense. And uh, and, and we, we're very encouraged to see that. So we did the, the Belgian part. And then the same afternoon we finished, we got in a car and Bart, our coordinator in Belgium, drove us to Amsterdam's Schiphol Airport, where we stayed the night. Following that night, we went to a television channel uh, seven family, family seven, seven family TV yeah. number seven yeah. the in, largest Christian yeah. television uh, uh, channel Christian channel in the Netherlands we had a nice uh, interview there both of us it was a wonderful interview and they were asking us questions about Israel Bible prophecy it was a thirty yeah. minute interview chalked full of content yeah. we really packed a lot into Correct. that interview and then of course that evening we began the first ever European Revealing Revelation Conference. Oh, my goodness. It First was, time I ever presented Revealing Revelation true. material. Me, second, yeah. second time for you. Yes, I did it already in, twice in the Philippines with Pastor Barry Stagner. That was my third time for me to do it. We covered the entire book of Revelation. The people, I mean, about 1,000 people showed up in LEG, the uh, uh, church uh, facility near the airport. And uh, for two days in a row, we covered the whole book. The whole book of Revelation. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And, uh, we had a Q&A session. A couple of days later, uh, we also met with our German publisher. Uh, we, 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 we saw my uh, thriller, thriller books coming out just uh, on time um, in German. And, and even now, we, yesterday when we met the Norwegian publisher, we saw some of the new books. The By the way, time. folks, if you you're saying, oh, we really would have loved to see that, you know, it was in English and then Dutch translation. Well, if you really want to see it, all you have to do is go to our YouTube and then you click on channels. Just go to the Dutch channel and we'll have it there. It's it's you have to scroll. You'll have to scroll because it's like several hours. But you can see the teachings there oh, if you really want. I didn't know yeah, that yeah, it's, on, yeah. it's on our Dutch Yeah, we're going to upload it there. We yeah. will. Yeah, so we'll upload it, it there. It not be there yet. Yeah. So I, I don't think they... Uh, they, they, did they uh, film also the first one? The first one may be a problem, but I, they were trying to upload it and yeah. keep, we'll keep it at one segment. But it, it, that's that's just, we're giving you something. Yeah. Know this. Know this. This will all be recorded seamlessly in English, yes. ultimately, and we'll put it out yes. there. This is the whole book of Revelation. Yeah. So we, we, we did that in the Netherlands, uh, and, and uh, then we left, and uh, we arrived in Norway, and as you know, uh, we did that TV interview last night, and uh, today we're going to have our first conference here in the Oslo area, and tomorrow we're going to fly to Bergen and have a packed weekend, and then another uh, session that we will do in Haug Haugesund, Haugesund. Yeah, on Monday. We'll have two sessions, one yeah. uh, just at noon to about two, and then in the evening. Yeah. And uh, this is a huge shock to see how many Norwegians are not only Bible believing, but have a firm grasp and hunger for yeah. Bible prophecy. I'm, yeah. I did not realize. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. encouraging to see that because most, if not most of their churches here uh, don't even teach prophecy yeah. at all. Uh, they don't even teach the Bible at all. I mean, it's the, but anyway, long story short, we're committed uh, to bring uh, our teachings uh, all over. And uh, after we're back to Israel, we will fly to Italy for another Revealing Revelation conference in Catania in Sicily. We're expecting a full house there as well from all over the country. Um, it's it's going to be a, a long three days, Friday night, all day Saturday, and even in, on Sunday, seven different messages. And then we will also do Mission Ne Paradiso live on Monday, talking about current events and connecting them to Bible prophecy. And uh, from there, we're going to fly to Romania and address and do the revealing revelation in Timisoara, in Biserica Pentecostala Elim, my uh, home church there in, in Timisoara, which is the largest church in the city with six to seven thousand people. And the, um, 
from what I understand from the senior pastor there, Pastor Motz, uh, the whole uh, church is excited and uh, everybody's committed to come and, and attend that conference. So it's going to be tiring but rewarding. And uh, we want you to know that uh, we, we count on your prayers. Uh, you know, prayers is the single most important thing we need from people. Yes, people also donate, which is wonderful. It allows us to travel to places we wouldn't be able to. But prayer is the secret weapon of this ministry. It is. And uh, so, I mean, if, if you if you think that, oh, I, I don't know what what I can do to help you guys pray. What do you mean what I can do? That's the help that we need, the most important help that we need. So, so you know, keep praying for us. Pray for our health. Our, in my case, my back was acting up a little bit in the last few days. But we are taking care of ourselves. We're there taking we care yeah. of what we eat. We're taking care of, of uh, working out. We're, we're really trying to do our best. So when we get to where we need to be, we are healthy and we are very, very uh, vitalized and and uh, ready to go. We we want to take care of this uh, temple of the Holy Spirit so we can uh, allow God to work also not in us but through us. So this is this is it. This is a ministry update with some Middle East update. Please share it with as many people as you can. We would love to see you joining my Telegram channel. It's uh, probably the best source of news of Israel and the Middle East and also world news. I update a lot. Uh, so go to Telegram. We're going to put on the screen. Well, this also. is the website where yeah. you can get our newsletter. You yeah. can subscribe to Telegram. You can see our uh, teaching, uh, uh, all of the events that we're going to be at. You can see everything there. Scan this and you can play around yeah. and learn everything and subscribe to anything that you yes. want to. It's a very great resource for you and i want to say your prayers as amir said are carrying us we also thank you for your generous donations that allow a lot of these places to hear god's word really folks the difference that you're making in people's lives cannot even be measured okay and and the funny thing is uh, a lot of people they don't understand what do you mean you don't charge what do you mean you're not asking for money, but we're not, we're not. There's no place on planet earth that we tell them we need money to come to speak. We don't, mm -hmm. we, we are very different in that, in that way. It's because we have people like yeah, you. It's because so many of you are just generously giving and we want to freely give as well to the people. So we travel to wherever the spirit is leading yeah. and we share without any, without any no. expectations yeah. at all. So it's good because then you're not a burden on the local church that wants to hear the word but maybe cannot afford, you know, paying for flights or hotels or food or whatever. We tell them you don't have to. <laughs> we'll take care of ourselves. You just arrange and organize the conference. We'll show up. Yeah, this is it. It's beautiful. That's the best. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you all. Listen, thank you. God bless you. Share it with as many as you can. There's also an app, Behold Israel app. If you can, download the app on, on the app stores on Google. Google, and Android, and Apple. Just yeah. type in Behold Israel and download the app. And the app will also show you the way how to get to Telegram if you want. So this is it. Thank you. God bless you. And uh, Shalom from Uslo. Join the Amir Sarfari and Behold Israel channel on Telegram. Here you will receive daily updates and audio messages from Amir. You can also take part in our community and reply with comments. Getting started is easy. Simply download Telegram from the App Store, then visit the Behold Israel Telegram channel in your browser. From there, click Preview Channel, then click Join. That's it. See you on Telegram.